Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 18 iPad tricks on iPad OS 14 that you probably didn't know existed. Now with the release of iPad OS 14, we have a ton of new features. Some of them are hidden and are actually really cool to know and of course very useful. So in this video, I will show you guys 18 of those hidden tips and tricks that you need to know on your iPad running iPad OS 14. Starting things off with the home screen widgets. Of course, on iPadOS 14, as on iOS 14, you have the new home screen widgets, but you're just limited to this part right here. You cannot add them anywhere on the screen. But when you want to add one of them, the easiest way to do it, you can see right here, you will have that highlighted part. These are the widgets that will always show on the screen right here. You can go ahead and easily rearrange them like this. You can add a new one right there and remove one just like that, simply by dragging. And also when you go to add a new one, you can see that by simply going ahead and adding it to the screen, it will put it right here. But what if you wanna add one right there to the highlighted part, which is always on the screen? Tap and hold here and just drag it. And now you can go ahead and release it anywhere you want or even create a stack if you want to. On iPadOS 14, we have a totally new spotlight search, which now is called just search. On the new spotlight search, you will be able to also search websites directly from here. So anywhere on the iPad, when you launch the search, you can go ahead and launch any website from here. Just type the website you want to open, and as you can see right here, I can just go ahead, tap the go button and it will directly go ahead and open that website directly from search without me having to go first on Safari. The new search on iPadOS 14 can be accessed from the home screen simply by swiping down and if you have a keyboard, you can use commands to open it anywhere even within apps but there is a trick to do that without a keyboard as well you go to the settings you go to accessibility you go to touch and go ahead and enable assistive touch go to double tap or single tap triple tap whichever just you want to use and go ahead and select right here spotlight it's still called spotlight there and then you can use the assistive touch to enable the search from anywhere on any app anywhere you are just go ahead double tap there and you will be able to have access to the spotlight search there is a very cool keyboard trick that you can do on your iPad on iPadOS 14. I'm not really sure, but you might be able to do this on iPadOS 13 as well. So if you still have iPadOS 13, go ahead, try it out and let me know. So of course, whenever you're on a text, you tap and hold here the space bar and it will basically turn the keyboard into a trackpad. That's old news. You can do the same with the keyboard of the emojis. So when you go to the emojis, you wanna place the emoji anywhere on the text. You have here the space bar, you can see this little space bar. You can go ahead and actually tap and hold that and it will turn the emoji keyboard into a trackpad, of course, allowing you to go ahead and add that emoji anywhere you want. There are new features on the Photos app as well. So we have the new sidebar, which is really cool. So you tap right there. It shows the sidebar with everything you need, all the albums and all that stuff. But you don't have to reach right there to show the sidebar on any app that has a sidebar that shows and hides. You can do that simply by swiping like this. From the corner, you can go ahead and show the sidebar as easy as that. It's really, really cool. And right here, we have the albums. Now, what you can do here is delete any album easily. Just swipe like this and you will be able to delete any of the albums that you have on your iPad on iPadOS 14. Now, when you have your albums like this, you can see here the previews that they have, like the key photos. You can go ahead and change that on any of the albums. Just open one of them, 3D touch on the photo that you want to make a key photo, tap right there, and then that will be the key photo of that album. So the first photo that shows on that album on the preview will be the photo that you choose, not automatically the first one. Now, if you want to move like photos between different albums, you can do that from here, from the sidebar. So I'm on this album right here. I can go ahead and drag this photo and just place it like anywhere I want on any other album, just like that. Just go ahead and release that. And if I go to this album, you can see here we have the photo that we just dropped there. You can do cool stuff with the sidebar on the files app as well. So here I have the files app. I have the tags here. Of course, I have all the different locations. What if I want to put a tag on one of these files right here? All I got to do is just drag this file and just release it right here to the tag that I want to put on that file. And you can see right there, it has now been tagged. It's as easy as that. Just drag it right here to the tag that you want to. And it's as easy as that. You can see you can turn that into a tag for that file. 
on the files app on iPadOS 14, you will also be able to turn images into PDF files. Just 3D touch on any image and right here you will find the option to go ahead and create a PDF out of that file. So just like that, create PDF and you're good to go. When Apple presented iPadOS 14, you probably have seen shape recognition, how it works when you're marking up screenshots or something like that. You can also do that with photos. So you basically go to the edit button, tap on the three dots right there and tap on markup and you will have shape recognition working on photos as well. So just like that, you go ahead and basically just tap right there, tap and hold once you draw something and you will be able to turn that into a shape. So as easy as that, tap and always just hold and you're good to go. You can see it draws like perfect shapes. You don't have to bother about drawing something. You can see how ugly that is, but it will turn it into a beautiful shape. On the iMessage app, you can now pin conversations. Now the easiest way to do that is just tap hold, drag the conversation and just release it right there to go ahead and pin that conversation. Now, if you want to unpin it, you can also just drag it down like this and just basically go ahead and just place it right here. And that will be unpinned as easy as that. Now, once you're on the conversation, you know, there's a new feature on iPad OS 14 and iOS 14 as well. It's called inline reply. So basically when you're having like a group chat or something like that, you can go ahead and specifically reply to a message. So here I have a few messages. If I want to specifically reply to one of them, all I have to do is just double tap on that message. And here we have the chance to go ahead and reply exactly to that message only. With iPadOS 14, you will also be able to change the resolution and the frames per second directly from the camera app without having to go to the settings. So once you go to the video mode, you will have right there the resolution you can see right there you tap on the left side to change the resolution from hd to 4k and then on the right side right there you can change the frames per second you can see we have 30 60 you can just go ahead and change them right away from here without having to dig into the settings app on ipad os 14 you will be able to quickly find any app you want under the ipad storage so you go to settings go to general go to ipad storage and right here at the top you will have a search bar from here, you can go ahead and find any app that you want. Just search for any app and you will right away find them. You don't have to scroll through the list of apps to find something. You can quickly do that directly from there. So just like that, go ahead and search for any app that you want. Also a feature that we have seen on iOS, which is the back button, you tap and hold and it will show you like different places where you can go from here. Don't have to tap the back button like a few times to go somewhere. You can just go ahead and tap right there and hold and you will be basically be able to quickly move through the pages on the settings app on other apps as well. It also works on Safari. So if I tap and hold here, you can see it shows me all the pages where I can go from here. I don't have to go one by one. I can go forwards and backwards as well. So it is that easy to move between pages on iPad OS 14. And of course, we have the new picture in picture mode on iOS 14 and iPad OS 14 as well. Now, if you go to settings and go right here to picture in picture, you can enable start picture in picture automatically. That means that once you're playing a video, you don't have to tap the picture in picture button. Once you get out of the app, it will automatically go on that mode. You can also double tap right there to make it bigger, double tap to make it smaller. As easy as that, you can change the size of the picture in picture mode. Of course, you can also go ahead and swipe with two fingers to make it bigger or smaller. You can, of course, hide it just by dragging it like that. You can hide it anywhere you want. You can also move it like this once it's hidden. So you don't have to actually go ahead and unhide it to move it anywhere on the screen. And last but not least, if you go to general, go to software update, right here you will find automatic updates. Now right here you will find two new buttons. Now they are separate now, you have two different choices here. You can download the OS and you can also install the OS. If you enable just download iPad OS updates, it will just download them and keep them on your iPad and not install them until you do that manually but you can choose to do both at the same time. So you download and install automatically, but if you don't want to do that, you just go ahead, disable this, and they will download automatically, but won't install until you choose to do so. 
So that is it for this video, guys. These are 18 iPad OS 14 tricks that every iPad user should know. These are very useful tricks that will help you a lot on the daily use of your iPad on iPad OS 14. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. If you enjoyed this iPad video, make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys on the next one.